Uh, Simon, uh, thank you for today's match. Uh, close one, but uh, we played uh, catch up rugby in the final minute. Just uh, you know, things to better for this game to the next game. Yeah, I, just, I think we had our opportunities. We just weren't clinical enough. Uh, I think we dropped a couple of balls over the over the try line. Uh, a couple of disallowed tries. Uh, push forward, uh, double movement. So we had opportunities, uh, chance to score at the end uh, with a, with a pass uh, to win it. So yeah, I think we had our opportunities. We just didn't uh, make the most. Uh, Wales had a couple of uh, opportunities off our defensive areas, scored a couple of tries, and um, yeah, that was a difference. Bola West. Bola. Sorry, just your honest opinion as the skipper on the uh, match officiating tonight. My honest opinion is uh, we made a mistake on the field and uh, we pay for it. We just took advantage and pay for it. But we fight until the end and unlucky we couldn't get that pass away. Part for the boys, for the effort, keep on working. Working hard for each other, 80 minutes. Hi, Simon. Just on that, were you surprised that Wales potentially didn't have any more yellow cards and the one that you received in the, early in the second half was pretty harsh? Yeah, it's pretty tough to talk when you're hot after the match. Uh, obviously, the emotions, we haven't actually reviewed a lot of it, but I did think when we were down in the corner, uh, we had multiple penalties. Um, could have been multiple <laughs> more penalties in that area and we didn't get a yellow card in that area and then we went back down to our uh, our five metre and then got a penalty, straight, yellow card straight off one. Uh, so that, yeah, it's, it's difficult. I know that yeah. the referees have got a tough job. It's, um, we respect what they do, uh, but you just, as a coach, you're looking for that consistency. Uh, so yeah, it, go go and review the game and have a look and see what uh, what comes of it more. But yeah, yeah, there was a couple of occasions where we thought we didn't, didn't get the rub of the green. Ooh. Um, for both, um, what did you say to Semir Adjadra after the last uh, knock-on? Ah, well, I, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> obviously, we'll review the game with that. Uh, it's uh, no, nothing. I said to all the boys, mm. it's uh, well done. Um, we just we weren't clinical enough to finish it off. But we've got we've got another job to do. We've got to we move on to the Wallabies next week. Uh, so we've got to prepare well, uh, recover tomorrow, and then we're on to that preparation. Hi, Simon Charles from the Daily Telegraph here. Um, can I just ask about the introduction of um, Josua Tuasova and Levine Botia and how fit they were and, and your thought process as to when to introduce them into the match because they, made, they had a big impact when they came on yep. and will they be fit and firing ready for Australia next? Yeah, they're both fit and fit and ready. Um, obviously, Josh had come back from uh, an, an ankle injury and he'd been off uh, quite quite a few weeks. And he came on, did really well. Um, so, yeah, for everyone will be available for selection. Uh, obviously, both quality players uh, played at the highest level, so came on and made a big, big impact. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be leaning on the whole squad moving forward. Bonjour. Uh, question sur la troisième ligne qui a fait un, un gros travail aujourd'hui, qui a couvert beaucoup de terrain, notamment l'équipe de Tagalo. Qu'est-ce que tu en as pensé? L'équipe? Oui, oui. oui c'est le, c'est le toit. Oh, no, I was speaking English. Sorry, <laughs> my head's turning. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought the boys worked very hard today. They, um, there's a lot of efforts out there, uh, good efforts. Back row, really good. Um, across, Lavani coming on, really good as well. Uh, yeah, we just made, made mistakes at critical moments. Um, didn't take those opportunities when we, we could have extended the lead, uh, got another try in the second half, and then, yeah, it was uh, left to chase it at the end. With, uh, and we, we had the chance at the end to, to, to score. We had multiple options there and uh, just knocked on the ball. So, yeah, the, the boys worked very hard today. Against a very good Walsh team. Yeah, but I don't want to... Um, firstly, yeah, congratulations to Wales. I didn't acknowledge that at the beginning. Very good game for them. Played very well. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we're happy with, happy with all the team. We've got a lot of things to work on. Hi, 
I didn't, I didn't ask what you said. <laughs> um, Simon, after the win over, over England at, at Twickenham, how, how hard does it hit to not get the result here, or do you still feel that you're sort of on a positive up curve? Yeah, well, it's a, we're on a, it's a, it's a positive. Obviously, we lost the game. We wanted to win the game, and uh, it sets you up for the tournament. But we, we've we've got the rest of our pool games as well, so we've got to move on to our next uh, next target, which is the Wallabies next weekend. Um, yeah, obviously disappointed. We've we're playing against the the best in the world. Uh, we played England, at Twickenham, playing Wales. These are the games that we want to play more often. And I think the more often we get these games, the better we get. And uh, I think uh, that consistency of matches uh, playing at the highest level, I think Fiji, fine Fijians have shown that we uh, we we improve every time we play and we, we contest with with the best in the world. So yeah, we we, we need more matches like this. And then there's, yeah, proud of the boys. Oh, Weiss. In uh, nine minutes, this was the last score. In nine minutes, you managed to score two close to scoring the winning try, but short of that. What was your message to the boys pushing through after scoring the first uh, try in the second half? Yeah, just work hard. Work great, back in the game, and uh, keep on working hard until that whistle blow, 80 minutes. That's what we did on the last nine minutes, and uh, we managed to get out two tries. and. Uh, Unluckily, we uh, couldn't make it on the last uh, last pass. Uh, the message was clear: patience and work hard, and the opportunity will come. Hi, Wizar. How huge is the deception after the disappointment after the, this loss? Yes, it's a disappointment because we work hard for the for this game. Uh, it's just we have to go back and work on our execution going into next week. We take our learnings from here and we build it towards Australia. Yep. Uh, avec, uh, avec deux points ce soir, vous êtes quand même uh, en mesure uh, d'être toujours en vie dans cette compétition. C'est comme ça que vous le prenez yeah, it's important to get bonus points because you stay in the tournament. So, yeah, it just it makes the equation a lot easier. We, we we have to we've got the Wallabies next week, and we have to we have to go out there and uh, really push for that victory. So we, I've said to the boys, we have to prepare from from tomorrow, get our recovery right. Um, every day is is an opportunity. We can't lose any opportunities moving forward. So we're going to prepare the best we can, and we'll uh, we'll attack all the Wallabies uh, next uh, next Sunday. Bullock, you have by Shrek Bjorzen. Question for myself. Could you question for you? Like, could you imagine what would be the party back in Viti if if Radrada would cut that ball? Oh, I can't imagine. <laughs> I think the whole whole country would be on their feet. Yeah, can't imagine. Sorry, would you like to? Euh, oui, j'ai une question pour Wissam, mais je ne sais pas s'il a l'oreillette pour euh, traduire. Ou peut-être tu comprends le français Il comprend le français. Euh, un petit peu. George North, euh, notamment, est passé beaucoup de fois au milieu de terrain, percé la, la ligne défensive. Est-ce que c'est dû à un manque de communication entre euh, vous ou à quoi c'est dû défensivement Défendre lui ou Défendre sur lui et au milieu, au milieu de terrain, les Gallois sont, ont réussi à franchir euh, pas mal de fois. Euh, pourquoi Um, he's asking um, George North come through the middle a couple of times was there any communication was, oh. there, any, was there any problems no 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 you have the problem the communication you know the you know everything you know he's il he's physical he's strong on donne les ballons à lui et il... on va soutenir. Um, J'ai une autre question. Uh, the French uh, crown was with you uh, for this game. Uh, how was it? Pff, amazing, amazing crowd tonight. Uh, unbelievable. We're just proud to be here and. Uh, so out to all the supporters that come and support the, the game tonight. 
Simon, qu'est-ce que tu as pensé de, de l'apport de ton banc, de tes remplaçants L'apport de ton banc, de tes remplaçants, qu'est-ce que tu en as pensé Le bench. Le bench. Oui, c'est... Le banc, c'est très bon. Euh, il fait l'entrée... Euh... Oh, well, I'm French. But, uh, they really... They came on and they... With a, with a strong bench, they came on. Accelerated the game. Um, they... Um, there was... We've got we had quality there, and that was what they were there for. Um, I think all of them came on, did really, really well. Yeah, so it's uh, it's pretty tough after the match to to analyse it. We have to go back and have a look at the video and see what we did. We did some really good things in the towards the back end of the the match as well. I thought we played well through the match. Um, one thing that was really pleasing was um, our, our fitness traditionally. We've dropped off in matches with our, with our, fit, our fitness, and we came home strong. Uh, the boys came uh, came home strong, and yeah, we, yeah, it's disappointing we didn't pinch the match at the end. Say, uh, with that close one, what does this mean for Fiji for the rest of the campaign? Uh, it means exactly the same. We go into the next match. We're looking to we we prefer to uh, to win that match. So we get, that's the next objective. Um, the Wallabies next week, uh, and we're looking no further than that. So we've got a a huge test against a very good team next weekend. Um, yeah. So like I said at the beginning, we every every training, every day, every meeting is an opportunity. We can't lose. We can't uh, afford to miss it, and we have to. Prepare as best as we can against a very good team. Simon, you have a majority of uh, the players in, in the team that are playing in the Rugby World Cup at this stage for the first time. Just on your comment to some of the young ones that, you know. Yeah, the, yeah there's, there's nothing about age there. They're all here because they, they've, they've earned it. Uh, they've worked very hard for 10 weeks, starting in Taviuni. Um, Like I said, I'm super proud of all the boys' staff. Um, the the young boys are stepping up. There's no, it's a very tight group, great, well led by Weiss. Uh, done an amazing job uh, bringing the boys together. Yeah, so we very proud. They're, they've all stepped up a level as well. They've come, they've come from uh, Dora Super Rugby and they've stepped up and they've become genuine test test rugby players. So very proud of them. So yeah, always got improvement about them. Simon, you said you wanted uh, more fixtures like this. Um, what is it that fixtures like this will actually give you in terms of your improvement? Because obviously you've shown a lot of improvement with, with fitness and defence, and yet you have these outstanding attacking talents. So what is it that you hope to gain from more games like this? Obviously, you get, when, when you're playing a bit against the, the best teams and you play against them consistently, you've... You're getting, you're improving as a team, your combinations and all that. So I think every team that's in that developing nation uh, category wants more of those opportunities to play yeah. against those uh, against those uh, developed countries. I think when you ring fence the matches for the developed countries, they continue to to improve. The rich get richer and the poor stay a little bit uh, the same. But World, World Rugby does an amazing job in terms of getting those opportunities. We had a great preparation. And, Um, being able to play, um, obviously, the PNC uh, and then uh, France and then England. It's something that we don't normally get, a couple of uh, developed nation uh, tests in a row and then playing Wales here. So it's, 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 it's like anything. If you do things at the highest level, you prepare at the highest level, you always improve. So I think that's uh, the goal for most developing nations, especially uh, I'm talking from our point of view for Fiji. Final question. Yeah. Bolois. Bolo <laughs> That is a wrap. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll be back in just one sec. Thank you, bro.